Let's take a look at some sports now. Here's Ayo Tunde Balogu. Rivers Angels this evening emerged champions in the women's final of the 2017 ITO Cup played at the Ruang Pam Stadium in Jos. The River State Bays club side defeated this year's finalist Ibom Angels 3-0 on penalties after the game ended 1-0 in regulation time to lift their seventh trophy in Nigeria's oldest football competition. Cynthia Aku gave Rivers Angels the lead on the 48th minute while Glory Obona responded with the equaliser just within five minutes. With the win, Rivers Angels will be going home with a 10 billion naira prize money for the champions. Super Eagles technical advisor Jeanette Ruhr wants to use the final group game in the 2018 World Cup qualifying series against Algeria to test new players. Coach Ruhr says the intention isn't to lose against the Desert Foxes, but he also wants to use that game and other international friendly games to determine his squad for Russia 2018. The next step will be to see all our players. We couldn't play with 23, we could see only 14. And, uh, but now we are qualified so we can test some of our new players on some positions. We know that we have to be better, we have to improve. And this is the opportunity against Algeria. We don't want to lose, but we must to just have to see all our players now. I will wait for this game and I will wait for the friendlies we can do after to have really an idea about the, the players who can come to Russia with us. In the UEFA Champions League, EPL reigning champions Chelsea this evening blew a 2-0 lead against Italian side AS Roma to settle for a 3 0 draw as both clubs stayed firmly on course for a place in the last 16. Earlier in Group C, Atletico de Madrid and Karabakh played a goalless draw. Manchester United beat Benfica 1-0 to maintain their 100% record in Group A. Paris Saint-Germain, PSG also enjoyed their perfect record in the group phase following a 4-0 bashing of Anderlecht. Bayern Munich beat Celtic 3-0. Lionel Messi scored his 100th goal in European competition as 10-man Barcelona made it three wins from three games with a comfortable victory over Olympiacos at the Camp Nou. And that's Rap and Sports News. I'm Ayatun De Balogun. Each of us will be back for the rest of the news at 10. Thanks a lot, Ayatun De. Now, news just coming in to us says that some state governors are in a closed door meeting in Abuja, the federal capital. Now, even though the details of that meeting and its agenda are unknown, it's believed that the governors may be discussing critical issues affecting the nation. The governors in attendance include that of Bochi Zamfara. Kwara and Sokoto, as well as Kaduna, and as well as the deputy governors of Anambra, Ebonyi, Bayelsa, Imo, Niger, and Nasarawa. Meanwhile, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, who was also at the presidential villa, believes that the issue of restructuring should be discussed at the National Assembly and should not be shut down. He insists the structural imbalances which gave rise to the calls cannot be corrected by the stroke of a pen. He said that the window should not be closed against the call by Nigerians and advised that all should carefully listen to the Nigerian Governors Forum and other stakeholders before the constitution is tinkered with. The head of Kenya's Electoral Commission has summoned opposition leader Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta to a consultative meeting in respect of the fresh presidential election. And he also says in a letter written to both leaders that and warned Odinga and Kenyatta to restrain supporters or agents before, during or after the meeting from any utterances or actions that may negate the value of the consultative meeting. The letter comes as one of the IEBC's top officials, Roslyn Nakombe, resigned and moved back to the United States amid death threats ahead of next week's presidential election rerun. The IEBC said it regretted her decision to quit, while the chairman, Chebukati, conceded that he could not guarantee the poll would be credible. Three people have died and two more injured after a gunman opened fire at an Edgewood, Maryland countertop company. The shooter entered advanced granite solutions in a business park outside Baltimore and fired multiple shots from a handgun hitting five people. Three people died at the scene and the two wounded were taken to hospital. The gunman identified as 37-year-old Radi Prince was believed to be associated with the business. He had a criminal history 
but no motive has been given for the shooting. And the main news again. President Buhari today arrived in Ankara, the Turkish capital, on a state visit ahead of the D8 meeting in Istanbul on Friday. Migration, defense and security are top on the president's agenda. Also today, the federal government distanced the military from rumored vaccination in schools, insisting confirmed monkeypox virus cases in the country remain three. And the head of Kenya's Electoral Commission has raised concerns over next week's presidential rerun and asked for a meeting with President Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga. Well, that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks a lot for staying with us. I'm Ijoma Onyato. Do have a good night.